All right, we are live. Hello, everybody. We are going to be checking out Escape the Pacific. I dove into it a little bit last night after stream just to get a idea of it. I think you guys are going to like it, especially if you like Stranded Deep. This game is pretty good. It is still in the alpha stage, meaning there's a lot of things that could change, and there might be a number of bugs, but it is alpha. So we got Kelly. Hello, Conspiracy Media. Hello, Zero. Hello, Meow. Hello. T-Rex is here on time. Hello, sir. Brooklyn, hello. Adrian, hello. And Will Giles, hello. And everybody else just kind of lurking in the back. Hello, let's dive into this. Now, uh, to start out with, I want to tell you guys, there's only one save slot. The developers or developer, I'm not sure. I know it's a very tiny team that's making this. Um, they did say there's going to be more save slots in the future, but it's alpha, right? So it is what it is. Well, let's just dive in. We're just, first you can customize everything. Um, we're just going to do beginner because we don't know Jack. There are pirates in this game and you can turn them on or off. I was pretty excited to hear that. That was something we talked about. You got the story, you got challenges, you got sandbox. I mean, come on, right? But let's just stick with default for now. <clears throat> two different characters normal lazy strong we're just going to keep it on defaults here right here pirate ships we're just going to keep it no pirate ships i don't feel like dealing with all of that right now temperature you can keep it hot cold oh this is cool wind rain wow adjust the seasons Z, hello. Peyton, hello. Jasper, how do I get deep shrooms in Subnautica? Uh, you're talking about the white ones, Jasper? You want to go down to something like the blood kelp zone on the floor. You're going to see white mushrooms. You can go pick them up. Okay. And parts for submarine besides the hull. Uh, there's a number of things I actually on. If you go to the front of my YouTube page, look in my Subnautica guides. I have over 30 different Subnautica guides, including how to get uh, the submarine. You want to you want to check that out, including mods and all kinds of things. Everything is listed there. Um, dive in and get everything you need right there. All right. Absolutely, Jasper. And thank you for stopping by, man. I hope you were able to get everything minimally without any trouble. All right, so let's just do this. I think um, I'm good here. We're just going to keep it on default, easy, just kind of beginner mode, just kind of get the feel for it. Yeah, I've, I've had my eye on it. I played a little bit. This might be my new one. All right, let's get out of the water. I don't know if there's any sharks, but uh, oh, I'm swimming away. Absolutely. Absolutely, Jasper. Okay. We're on. Oh, you got uh, shells? Okay. Are there any signs of life? Um, let's go to journal. There's tutorials. We're just going to start the tutorials. It's going to run us through all the basics of everything that we need. All right. So we got some stones here. Um, what I want to do, and I think is really useful, is we're going to just go through kind of like we do with Stranded Deep and just gather all the materials, and we're going to kind of put them right here. Since the arrow's pointing this way, obviously at some point we're going to need to go over there. And I do know that that's a thing because I was playing yesterday. What is this? Oh, that's going to be useful. Now, as far as inventory, we don't have any inventory, right? We got our hand and we have two pockets and then you have a place for a map. Yes, we have a map that we can use in game, a sextant, a telescope, a compass, and a clock as we find them. Now, let's go over the crafting. I'm going to show you guys what we have. Different boats. And yes, you can build structures on these boats. You can actually build barges and all that. I haven't done it yet, but I know you can. 
Uh, here's different tools, and I think we'll get new ones as we unlock. See different things. There's a backpack that we can craft. We're just going to drop that right there on the ground. That's just going to give us more space. And a little side pouch that we're going to do as well. Um, different buildings. Now, as far as the buildings go, you have to put the pillars in. You have different pillars. So if we... Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's see. If you click... Should have... No. I guess it doesn't. But anyways, you can see it'll tell you like... Uh, this is a weaker foundation and s different stronger foundations. And then you got to put the frame around it in order to put the floors, right? Like there's just all kinds of things that we can do here. Basic shelters. We have skills, which is wild. All right. Anyways, let's continue on and uh, grab everything we can. You check chat real quick. Graphics look good. Yeah, it, it's it's a great game, man. I'm I'm liking it. Let's throw this in our pocket. Uh, we're gonna need this stone. We're gonna have to carry this back. Let's go ahead and drop this. There we go. Let's continue on. We'll do the outside of the beach first, and then we'll do the inside. Oh, yeah. And you'll see crates, chests, all kinds of things. If you use you on it, come up on it. We should be able to use you. No. Nope. Usage. Oh, we can't do anything with it. At least not these. Oh, I'm going to leave that alone then. I don't know. The ones on the other island I encountered, I could open them. They had, like, different gear and food and, like... A metal axe. It was cool, man. All right. Um, not much. Just a bunch of shells. So I'm not feeling this. So this way. Yep, we got a nice wood trunk. Hey, Marissa. Conrad, is Escape the Pacific going to be on PS4? I don't know. Right now it's on Alpha. I hope so, Conrad, because I would love to play this on my Xbox. You just guys can see at the bottom right there, it's in alpha stage still. But I got a lot of hope for it, man. It looks super cool. And dang, we got a map. I'm just saying. Man. Got a carving rock. And a bunch of shells. I'm not sure if the shells are going to be useful. Got a small rock. We got turtles. Let's go over here on this. Kind of peek it out. And uh, we got another trunk. So let's take this back to our little staging area. Oh, we got a little pool in the middle. This is nice. Now this is, you can randomize your maps as well. I do know that. Which is kind of nice. I saw another big wood, empty wood trunk. You can break them for planks. Hey, Tim. Oh, is that what it is? You can break it up into planks? Can you swim underwater in this game? Yes. Like I said, I only played for a couple hours last yesterday after stream to get the feel of it. Yep, so, okay, so these medium crates you can just break up and for, for planks. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate that, man. Big help. All right, now I saw this. Where did I see it? Got a raw brown coconut. I'll be back for that. All right, well. Yeah, right here. This. I think I could probably go this way and be faster. Thanks. Love your Subnautica and Stranded Deep Guides. Thank you, man. Well, if this game turns out to be good, we're going to have a whole bunch of uh, content for this one, too. But we're going to see. All right, slowly moving. 
I know I can break these logs up, so uh, I just want to kind of gather everything into one little area before we get too far. Oh, we do have hunger, thirst, health. You do get tired. You guys can see. All that is a thing. All right, let's grab this stone. I don't think I'll need more than one carving stone, but I'm gonna drop it here so at least I can see it. Okay, I have three rocks on me. I can't pick anything up. We're gonna drop this way over here. Uh, let's leave it here. Let's leave it here and uh, just hit one and then we can leave that there. Very nice. Have we played with sharks yet, Marissa? No, not yet. But I'm imagining that there are sharks in here. Can't imagine why there wouldn't be. Yes, the chest that you cannot open, hit them with an axe. Okay, thank you, man. Cool. We got turtles in there for food, I'm imagining. Okay, we got another one of these. I definitely want this. So as far as my initial impressions, when I first opened up the game, uh, I got sucked in, man. I, I'm a big Stranded Deep fan. You guys all know that. And uh, I got sucked up into this game. It was a lot of fun. And I didn't even get very far, but it was awesome. Oh, there's another rock. Going to need all that stuff, man. You can see all these islands and stuff in the distance. Cool. Cool. Show us underwater. Haven't seen any underwater gameplay anywhere else. Okay, let's go in the water. This is underwater. A little murky, but I, that's... All right, I'm sorry, guys. My wife was talking to me. All right, so. First of all, let's do the underwater, and let me check chat real quick. While we look at everything. Oh, which company makes the game? Oh, Joe, it's uh, Gamers for Gamers. And uh, I purchased it off Steam. Like I said, it's still alpha stage, guys, so take it with a grain of salt everything is still being refined and tweaked and beautified and added to and some things are just placeholders we guys we know how this is but this is the underwater i kind of like that it's a little murky because salt water right as far as spear fishing or anything like that i don't know yet because i haven't done it what game is this john john this is escape the pacific man all right, anyways, let's go back to what we were doing, gathering supplies. What do I have? I don't have anything on me. All right, we can dip into here. I'm going to take the raw brown coconut. Then we're going to start crafting here in a minute. Okay, there's nothing here. And we can go up in here. Ah, sticks. Oh, just goes back. Okay, cool. Hey, Ankush. Cool water, yes. This is feeling like... 
S deep. Where is beep? I don't know, man. I'm I got that definite vibe, but it's it's definitely its own beast. I'll tell you that. There's definitely some improvements to the game that we know. There we go. And then we're going to hit one. We want to drop that on the ground. And I think we can start crafting, right? Place the crude hammer blueprint. So we're going to hit tab. We're going to go over to crafting tools. This is the primitive hammer. We're going to leave that down. Now pick up a small stick. We want to just place it right inside there. Like, it's just like that. Now we need to find a small rock. Luckily, I found those. And we want to hit it with a rock. Small carving rock. I'm sorry. There's our small carving rock. I want to hit it. And it's got hit points. There you go. You got a hammerstone shard. Now we can place it. In the blueprint, then we want to take a stone and beat it because violence is the way. <laughs> All right, so there is our axe. Done. Find a brown coconut. Okay. Now, you can find brown coconuts up here in the trees as well. There's brown coconuts. Sometimes you'll find green ones. I found that the green one, when I first played yesterday, they were hard to find, but there was a tutorial part where we're drinking water. It was a little difficult to find, but I did manage to find one at, at one point. So let's go ahead and hit it with something sharp. Well, now that we know how to make tools, let's just make... Let's see here. Tutorials, first time crafting an axe, okay. Okay. Let's do, let's do the ax next before we get out of hand. We're going to throw that back here. So we want to place the crude ax on the floor. Just like this and just like we did before. And we want to make another hammer stone. Now we can beat this. I believe. Maybe not. There it is. I got a small carving rock. I'll just hit one. And it breaks it down into the individual. So it starts as the carving rock goes to the hammer. If you hit it again, it'll go to the axe. And then again, it'll hit for the knife, right? Go to this. And now we have an X. Let me check chat real quick. Looks quite a bit better than Stranded Deep. Is there a horror element to it as well? I do not know yet. Um, I know there's pirates in the game and uh, a number of different things. We just have to get to it. I didn't play much. I just wanted to get the mechanics. I wanted to really explore it with all of you guys so that we could all look at it together as a community. All right. I kind of want to put that rock down, you know? Drop that. All right. So let's beat this. Two things that stood out to me as a Stranded Deep player immediately was the fact that I could craft structures on a raft. <laughs> and... uh Let's drink that. All right. Now I can throw that down. Go back. Let's go to tutorials. Yeah, we're here. Whoops. I think I turned it off. Start. So we got to find the green coconut. We'll also make all that. This was my hardest part. I had a hard time with this. I gotta go. We'll be back after dinner. Okay, Ankush. Let me check. Keep up. 
looks great, but I doubt it can. I can get it on my PS4. Well, it's in alpha stage right now. So um, it won't hit consoles until it's basically in a in a specific, you know, state. Excuse me. But as far as whether it's going to come to consoles or not, I do not have that information. I would I definitely hope so, guys. We just don't know yet at this point. Okay, we need to find a green coconut. I have brown coconuts. There's green coconuts. Now, I can't climb this tree, can I? No. So we got to cut it down. Fine. Bingo. We're going to beat on this. Structures on a raft. I already want this game. Hope it comes to console. Me too, Gunner. But like I said, it might be a while. Hey, there's another carving rock. Let's put this on the beach so we can see it easier. No, oh, I didn't mean to drop that. All right, let's... There's a raw green coconut. We can do this quest. Hit it with something sharp. Like so, and then there you go. So that quest is done. But let's go to a brown coconut, which actually we did before. YOLO. Now, is there any brown ones? Or is it all green? I mean, for real. Well, let's do this one thing at a time. We're going to need all of this. And I... I want to actually hit the fronds. That's a bush. No, that's a palm. Well, let's just hit the tree. There we go. Can I pick this up? I got too many things in my hand that I can't. All right, let's try dumping our tools on the floor. Go here. Go here. All right. Oh, yeah, I should be able to pick that up. Hmm. All right, well. I guess I'll break it up. Must be too heavy. There it is. Now we got it. Okay. Cool. I just didn't have it detached enough. That's just learning process that we got going on here. All right. So we want to hit this again. Oh, no. I don't want to hit that again. We're going to dump this here. Now, I want... Nail the palm frond. There's some green coconuts. I'm just going to take them off. Leave them on the ground. Drink them later. We can pick up, I think, up to five. go easy peasy lemon squeezy and i lost my spot okay oh we got another trunk okay 
Okay. Here we grab these. Okay. So what? There's about nine of them on that palm tree. Wow, more than one co one coconut to a tree. Wild, right? New wave. Yeah, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave. Just hard to find it where you drop everything. Kind of like why I like to leave stuff on the beach. I'm going to use it. Makes it easier to find. All right, let's uh, drop these. No, don't go in the water. I'm going to need you for water. All right. Uh, let's find a brown coconut, which I probably end up having to cut another tree down for this. Unless I can find a small one, then I can just pick it off, I think. That's a big fat no. But we got one here, and this will make it easier for us. And then after we do this quest, I think um, what I want to do is make the backpack, the side, and all that so we can increase our storage. Because basically, we have three storage spots right now. That's just not going to work for us. There we go. A little tired. I want to put this, try to keep everything together here. Gonna let my stamina come back. <sighs> Catch up with chat real quick. Save the game frequently. I've had it crash on me a few times and lost everything that I had done since the previous, really. Let's save it now. Thank you, Tim, for that tip. That's awesome. That's the beauty of early access, right, man? Just is what it is. And there it goes. Hey, hey, hey. I need you. We're going to need you later. So might as well just gather the stuff now. All right. Now, can I just... Well, let's grab the coconuts. There we go. Let's grab that one. And we can leave that there for now. That's fine. So now we want to hit it with something sharp. We have a nice trusty axe. We got the dry coconut husks and then the center. Now we need to hit it with a knife. It means we need to make one. Also, we need to go get my hammer. But let's go get our hammer first because I'll leave that sucker. And we'll drop it right there. And uh, let's go ahead and craft a knife. Here's our knife. And uh, we need a stick. There we go. Then we need our hammer back. We need our sharp stone. Small rock, small rock, small rock. There it is. Oh, I actually think we need to use a stone for that. There's the hammer. There's the axe. Here's the knife. Let 
Then, I think we use the rock. No, we use the hammer, which should be two. Now we have a knife. Let me catch up with chat. Do the tools ever wear down? Yes. Uh, the tools have a durability bar down here on the bottom. As you can see, we've used our axe a little bit more. And uh, actually, now that you're saying that, let's experience in repair less hits will be required to repair a build. Okay. Endurance when chopping, stamina will be dropped slower by achieved percent. Okay. And then it tells you 20 trees to level. Okay. That's cool. Uh, building. Repair, dismantle, aiming, farming, starving, drying, fire start, swim, dive, strength, endurance, paddle, chop. Okay, and run. All right. So that's, that's it. All right, now I want to hit this to get the flesh of the coconut. There we go. We still have to go in here to eat it. And there it is. We can actually just leave the knife right here in front. That way I don't lose it. See how we're doing with hunger. We're actually pretty good. It counts up, I believe. Yeah, tiredness is going up, right? All right. Let's move this over here. Now we have a bowl if we want to use that as a bowl. All right, uh, before we go any further, let's do this. So we need a small stick and a palm frond. Well, I can use this right here. I left New Zealand to move to the U.S. to technically I escaped the Pacific. <laughs> All right, and I guess we'll hit this long stick. There's a small stick. Now we need one palm frond, which we got over here. We'll add it. And we just hit it with our knife. Ten times. And there it is. Uh, how do I equip this? Where? P. Now we have all this inventory. Look at that. So now this one, we need a palm frond. That's all we need for that one. This will give us some inventory space and make things a lot easier. to wear it drop my knife somewhere where the heck did my knife go oh I think I lost my knife that's unfortunate oh it's in my backpack oh that's cool okay I just joining looks pretty similar so far. It does. It does. It's a lot of fun, though, man. Um, a lot of definite improvements, a lot of differences. But we're going to discover it all together, guys, because I don't I know just about as much as you do almost at this point. All right. So let's continue on with the tutorial. So we did coconut, brown coconut, and now it's time to make a campfire. So, place campfire. I do believe we have to have it under something. So, let's put it under this. Let's go ahead and go in here. And uh, let's put it right there. Now, add four fire sticks. I'm accessorizing. Yo, looks fun. Yeah, it is, man. 
So these small sticks right here, I believe you hit these and you get fire sticks. Actually, it might be in our best benefit. How do I just take it out of my hand? If I pick it up, move it near the fire. Yeah, like that. Do I have another small stick? I don't. Okay, that's fine. Then we can hit it here. Ah, it's cool. Alright, let's beat this long stick. And we'll build a structure too. That way we can kind of get a feel for the building. I'm not going to do anything fancy. We're going to make a raft and at some point we're going to make, make like a hut or something. All right. Let's go ahead and get our axe. Check our degradation. We're actually in pretty good shape considering how much we've used it. A lot more in depth? Definitely. Definitely a lot more in depth. Well, let's pick that up and let's add that. So there's that. Now we got to add 10 rocks. Now we do have rocks here. I don't necessarily want to take all of them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. As long as they still have an arrow here, right? Reese. Okay. So we have eight, nine, 10. There you go. There's my arrow pointing in that direction. I know. Now let's go ahead and just add it to the fire. Put these. Put these to here. Wait. Are these too big? What's going on with this? Wait. There we go. There we go. All right. So now it says add small sticks to the fire. And we need to do four of those. So that's easy. Let's go ahead and beat on this thick branch. Looks very cool. I can't seem to upload this on my PC though. Really? I don't know. I would say check the, uh, the system requirements. Two, three, four. And let's add those. There you go. And add four more sticks. Let's keep going, I guess. Looking forward to seeing the pirates. Yeah. Okay, let's beat these out. <laughs> I'm getting tired. <laughs> I'm definitely curious to go explore another island. There's some small sticks. <laughs> Go ahead and get our stamina back. I'm going to stand in the shade here as it you guys can see it right here on the on the left. We'll keep bugging the developers. <laughs> yeah, so far it, it, I've had a ton of fun with it and we've barely touched the surface. So uh, talking about the developers, actually, my wife got a little synopsis from them. Gamers for Gamers is a small team of former gamers with very high enthusiasm toward survival games. Over the years of our gamer life, we collected many idea solutions and game mechanics that we would like to have in a game, good game, a good survival game. 
but they were never implemented together in any game. We decided to try and create survival games that can fulfill the needs and tastes of a wide range of survivalists and can challenge the hardcore gamer also. So that's a little something about them. Pretty dope. Looking forward to a pirate's life. Hey, Conrad, yes! That would be cool. What a great idea. A pirate's life and escape the Pacific. Ooh. That's big time. I like where you're th what you're thinking. Okay, we're good here. Let's go ahead and finish this up. All right, this should be good, right? Yeah, we got that. Now, insert kindling, which I do know we can get from the brown coconut husks. So let's beat this. And it went bye-bye. Maybe I... Oh, wait, maybe I use a knife. Use a knife? Yeah. All right. Let's go back to... Let's get more... Since I think they can stack... It's weight. If you guys see over here, it's weight. It's not every inventory slot here, but it's weight, which is actually pretty nice. All right. There we go. We got that in there. Now ignite with the fire saw. We need to build one of these. Now we need a small stick and a fire stick, which we actually have just laying around. There it is. We have it. There it is. I made fire. Okay. Let's go back to our tutorial. And that's it. That's uh that's that's it. And we got quests here. Why not take a short trip? So let's uh, work on a raft. Yeah, this is Alpha 58, Nate, Nathan. Absolutely. Yes, they're very helpful and eager to figure out how to improve. Yes. So cool, man. So cool. I actually love the idea of gamers that have been playing that decide, you know what, why don't we just do our own thing and we can put it into the games. We know exactly what people are looking for. I think that's pretty awesome. Give something to the community and uh, do something for a living that you love. I can definitely understand that. Let there be fire, meow. Yeah, it would be cool if they someday made a DLC where you could become a pirate because it's a pirate's life for me. That's what I'm talking about, meow. Dude, could you guys imagine a pirate's life in Escape the Pacific? This might be the thing. With the pirates active, oh, this could be some things. There could be some dangers here. I'm actually digging it. Okay. Enough talking. Uh boats wood trunk wood trunk I think we could just probably do a canoe for now let's do this one yeah I'm going to place it in the water and we can start putting these logs Now, I know to put the fire out, I actually oh, I actually have to dump water on it, but using this bowl, buddy, this took forever, and I'm not lying, so we might just let that sucker burn. Actually, we should kill a crab. Come here, you little monster. Where, where, oh, you run. I'm back. 
Oh, you think you're safe in there? Can I use an axe? Where? There we go. He dead. Hit it with the knife, I think, to cut it up. Nice. Help that turtle, it looks stuck. That's surrender. Make the one that's that that lets you attach a crab, a crate. Oh! Okay, okay. Um I'm sorry, I didn't read that right away. Let's go back. Which one would that be? Is this this one? Very basic building component of any water vehicle with a hammer equipped. A module can be dragged to connect the other modules. Okay, so we kind of want this one. You're right, and I messed up. I crafted the other one. But I think I can break it up, yeah. If I can add modules to this one, I kind of want that one, you know? All right, and uh, we got to keep an eye on the meat because it'll burn. Hey, Rob. All right, let's move this over here. I think this is the one. This might be too small. Or we can make a second one and add a whole another section to it, which would be super cool. Um, okay, so now we just need to beat it with our hammer, right? Yeah. It's okay, man. I didn't even think about it, but you're right, because I want to. I really want to play with structures on a boat. I mean, we know why, right, guys? I mean, we know why. I'm so excited to share. Oh, we need to check our food. I'm not used to this. This is more of a, a green hell feel. You know what I'm saying? With the cooking on the meat, on, on the rocks. And I really, I really do appreciate that. All right. So we did this. Now, I don't know... Uh, can I build this and put it? Oh, it's too small. But I can build another one, right? Um, if I have a hammer. It can be used for finishing uh, the building or during crafting. Also try on stone. You can you use the turtle shells as a bowl? I believe you can use them as a water catcher. Let's see. Let's go through all of this. Small planting box. We got tables. Banana leaf table. Palm table. Stick table. We have different planter style boxes and sizes. Composter. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a dew catcher. So this is like, uh, I could say this is from Green Hell. Okay, I can see where they're adding all the things to the game that they like. And yeah, there's a water collector right here. We should make that. So what do we need? A turtle shell, three small sticks. Okay. We're going to leave that there because I'm going to need that. Need one more. I was just thinking the mechanics of this game is a little like Stranded Deep and a little like Green Hell. Yeah, and then reading their bio, their About Me page, it makes perfect sense. If they're gamers, survival game lovers, like all of us, and they're putting something in there that, you know, I just think that's cool. So, 
All right, there's a turtle around here for me. Not you. Oh, oh, my food, my food. Meat is cooked. Let's eat it. Oh, Mr. Turtle. Now that we want turtles, we won't find them, right? Oh, I see one. No, that's a crab. I might have to wait till the morning to, to get a turtle for the turtle shell. It's kind of late, I think. Crabs. Yeah. <clears throat> Stranded deep, too. Yeah. Pretty good, man. We're going to go explore another island here in a little while, but... And then I wonder if I could, like, add it. Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. So very green hellish. All right. Well, while we're waiting for that, let's go ahead and add to this raft, right? And I'm, I'm curious how it works. I could be just completely messing up, but uh, whatever. Can I add this? to this or do I have to make them separately oh, oh, it's out there now floating away hey how do you how? really Destroy. There we go. All right. Well, let's make two separate ones and see if we can attach them with the hammer. You have to build the crate on the ground and then build it. You can put it on your raft after the crate is built. You will need to make rope to attach the crate to the raft. Thank you, Tim. Guess it's time to look into a pc for real man it's it's good okay so thank you man you are a huge help i have no idea what i'm doing here. i'm winging it okay so we want to build this first we need a long stick we need three small sticks and two palm fronds and then we need to make rope so we need to look into that's a small tool belt i don't want that crafting what about tools? Okay. Used to attach objects to rafts to prevent them from falling off. So small or small rope hemp stem. So I'm imagining beating up. Okay, I get it. Beating up this, right? Will give me some hemp. No? How do I get hemp? Want to build a floating toilet because who doesn't fantasize about the life? That life. Oh, my. There's so many issues you got going on, bud. <laughs> All right. How do I? Let's try a knife. Just out of curiosity. No. I can drag it, but. Hey, Jana. You're winging it well, though. <laughs> Thank you. You want the tool belt. I want the tool belt. Okay. Equipment. Uh, palm frond. How do I make... How do I get hemp? That's my question. All right. Well, let's make a tool belt. I need a palm frond. I just happen to have one laying around. And then use the knife. I got a guy for hemp. <laughs> you got to keep that to yourself, my man. Now, where would that go? Compass, clock, telescope. 
Oh, I bet you it goes over here, right? Where P? Oh, look at that, yo! Oh, that's super cool! Alright, that makes sense. That doesn't go there, huh? Okay, well, that can stay there. I like it. There are hemp plants, but you can build it out of coconut fiber. Tim B is the big, the big help of the stream, man. Let me just move these out of the way, I guess. Well, I got some here. Craft. Tools. Oh, I see right here. Oh, okay. So we just got to beat on this stuff for a while. Three, four, five. Two, one, one. All right. Oh, I got to use my knife. I am in it. We're going to need a lot of coconut fiber. <laughs> Fire's dying down. Use the first small rope to build out a coconut fiber. Thank you. Um, I want to go to Axe to open these. Let's see how our tiredness is. We are really tired, so as soon as it gets a little darker, we're going to go to sleep. Let's come back to that. Um, now, I think I can actually, what, hold you to sleep? Yeah. Sleep until sunrise. Careful, be careful swimming with all your equipment on. It will slow you down and remove them first. Oh, good tip. Thank you. Is this worth buying? Oren, I am having a blast, sir. This is my personal opinion. Stick around. Uh, watch the stream and decide for yourself. That's kind of what we're doing right here. Uh, it's checking it out. Okay, so the fire... Okay. My curiosity is, can I just put another one inside of it? Or do I have to break it up? I guess you have to break it up, huh? You can't put another campfire inside? But you can, okay. We'll deal with that later and decide. What are you two doing? You trapped, huh? Okay. <gasps> There's a turtle! Hold on. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, I can't hit you with that. You are so lucky. But I can hit you with this. Usage? What is that? Oh, I can't use that. Oh, I guess you use this. Just add wood. Oh, thank you. It's that easy. Oh, I love that. That is so nice. Now let's put this over here. Then we use our hammer and we'll deal with the meat. I know it spoils over time. Okay, so we got a water collector. I guess we got to wait for rain or something. 
and we need to add some wood. So let's go ahead and get that done. I'm going to leave that. Let's just beat on some kind of a tree or something here. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, I need fire sticks. Okay. You got to do it like you built it. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, not yet. We can cook this meat up. Now, what about this? Okay, okay, so that's a thing. Can I just light the fire? No, no kindling. Yeah. I guess that's a the thing. There you go. Oh, I love that. I love, I just gonna say there's a reason I like that so much. So I can put, let's see what we can do here. Oh, brilliant. Nice. These two are like hiding, like they're trapped. We'll deal with them later. All right, let's come back to this. We were making rope over here. Go ahead and beat it with our knife. Okay, get my stamina back. You need wet wood, small sticks, and small sticks, long sticks. That crackle is so good, right? All right, let me get this husk too, and then uh, let's see about making some rope. Might need more, though. It's a bag. If I just hit P... Oh, you just tap P, it just puts it right into your back. That's brilliant. Okay. So, uh, I do need the rope for later for attaching it to the raft. <clears throat> so, we're making this. Let's make a couple of them, huh? That way we have them. Then, what do you need here? You need a long stick, three small sticks, two palm fronds, and a hammer. Okay. Well, here's one. You can have that. And then I have a one long stick over here. You might as well use what we got laying around. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and put this in our hand. That should be it, right? You can take these out. Yep, now we got rope. Oh, that's cool. All right, and they stack. That's beautiful. All right. Now let's work on this, and then uh, let's work on this. I'm actually curious if I make a second one of these, can I just attach it? Let's try that too. Um. Well, first things first, let's do this. I'm getting out ahead of myself. Small stick and two palm fonds. So check our meat. Meat is still good. I love the campfire. That is just brilliant. That is small stick. What do you got going on here? Give me that. Give me that. 
Hey. I think he's trapped on it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we'll beat this. Is who you would be if you owned a PC? Oh man, you don't want to be me. You want to be your own self. You'd be better than me. What's the freshwater deal in this paradise? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Any animals attack me? No, I'm just doing the basic one right now. Okay, I need small sticks. Just so we can get a feel for it. Uh, if we die, if we decide and you guys really like it and we want to do a playthrough, then we'll put we'll put some dangers on and we'll do all of that and uh, we'll go through it. Heck yeah. I don't know anything about anything at this point. Maybe we go to another island and there's pirates or uh, there's animals. Shoot, I don't know, guys. I don't. Before. Well, there's that. Oh, super cool. Okay, so, oh, this is it right here. Wow. All right. That's cool. This is my vacation. Thank you, uncle. What do you, what do you drink? Collect water? Uh, well, you have, we do have a water collector here. Um, I haven't explored all the ways to get water just yet. Um, I do need to check my meat, though. Fire is almost out. I better do something about that. Give me a minute, guys. Um, there's a dew collector, which uh, makes... I mean, you could make a number of dew collectors and then have water on hand. And then there's a water collector for, like, rain, right? Um, you can get water from coconuts. So there's a number of ways. And then let's take this. We'll add that to the fire. And we're 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 grooving. This is great. This is absolutely brilliant with the fire mechanic. I love that. Alright. Now I wanted to see if we can make our raft bigger before we go any farther. Now this is the section we had, right? Yes. So let's build another one. Now we need a thick branch, which I left over here on purpose. Now we need our hammer, which should be number one. Hold to finalize. Now, oh, can I, now can I attach this? Or do I need a special hammer for this to attach these two pieces? Or did I just... No, because this is a raft module. Right? Let's look in our crafting and our tool section. Now, I don't see any other hammers but the one I have. Boats. No. No. Does so anybody have any idea how you attach the modules, or is that just not a thing? I know there's some of you guys that actually pl have played it already. Adam, hello? Use dead grass for kindling. The fiber is too useful for making rope. Dead grass is a yellowish color. Thank you for that, Tim. I'm checking chat here. It's nice to watch you not yelling and screaming at us. 
Do I do that? No latching for raft building? No, Oren. Not that I've seen so far. You need it to attach things to it. Like, we have the crate. Uh, we need the, the rope in order to attach it to it. I just want to see if I can make drag them on land and use hammer. Ah, you are my hero. You are my... So let's drag it on land. Let's see how you attach these. This is something new for us. I mean, let's just be honest here. Let's put it here. Let's go like this. Like so. How would I do this? Cool. Did you know they would add... Hot stones to bo- Oh, we're losing connect. Are you kidding me right All right, sorry guys. Let me open it back up. So you're saying I actually have to... Okay, I know where I messed up. I shouldn't have done these two. This, so this is a very stranded deep type of way. You have to attach it in the building mode and then build that attachment on. You can't do separate attachments. I refreshed and it smoothed out for me. Now, for, for now at least, yeah. Make sure we are we are golden, okay. Right? That's what we're saying. Like if I put it like this and I went here. Rotate. Can I do this? I've got to figure this out. With the hammer in my hand? I want to go to, how do I do this? How do I make a bigger raft? That doesn't work, right? Oh, like that. Oh, that's cool. Sorry about that, everybody. And you can lift it so much easier. Wow. Okay, so now let's try putting this crate on. Let's pick it up. And I should be able to attach it, right? Um, I may have to have the hammer in my hand again. Maybe not. Let's rotate it. Right. Drop it there. Attach it.
now required st strong rope. Okay. So we need to make strong rope. In order to do that, we need four small ropes. Okay, so we need a little bit more rope, which is not a problem. <clears throat> you know, we should use, yeah. In order to make this rope, let's drop it on the ground. We need three coconut fibers. Did I figure it out? Yep. I'm using the wrong tool, though. I'm wasting my coconut fiber, which is a bad thing. That's very valuable. There we go. I am digging this. I'm going to take all that. The heck? Oh, I haven't made the strong rope yet. Oh, I'm a retard. Okay. Let's adjust this correctly. Oh, I want it perfect. Okay, good enough. All right. Uh, big rope. Put these in our hands. Now we have strong rope. Now we can attach this, and there it is. Cool. Oh, let's take these. Let's go check our food. That's way cooked. That's good. Let's look at our hunger. Thirst is a little bit more. I don't think this has got anything in it. Nope. But we can put... Wait a minute. Uh, open with a U... We can drag some stuff over there. I'm just playing with it at this point. Okay. We can grab this paddle. And uh, let's go visit another island, which should be that one right there. It's on Xbox and PS4? No kidding! Whoa, I hope it is. That would be so cool for the community. All right, well, this is... Let me drop that. Let me put it in the water. There we go. We got this. Let's go, guys. Now... How do I do this? Can I not use this for? Oh, I'm heavy. Oh, I'm heavy. Do I need to make an ore? I might have to make one. Whoa. Let's drop that. Bring this closer to shore. There we go. So this ore might not actually work. I might have to build one. Yeah, I think this doesn't work. Let's build one. So what do we need? We need four fire sticks and one long stick. Cool. How are the controls, Adam? They feel good. It's just weird getting used to them because I'm not used to the game, but the controls feel good. It's Q to drop, um, you know, WASD for movement, tab to open up. You can hit B to go into build. Um, some pretty cool stuff. The fire is not like stranded deep. You don't have to do that whole fire mechanic, which I appreciate. You just hold your stick and it's just assumed that you can get it. <laughs> you know? Yeah, let's just make our own here.
What did you miss? Not much. I'm still trying to get things together. We're about to go to another island. I built a... Uh, I built a storage unit on the raft, which I'm super excited for. There you go. That's done. Let's get this long stick. There you go. And then we need the hammer, which is this one. And yeah, weight is a thing when you're swimming. Because I almost drowned. Now we have a paddle that we made. How do I do this? How would I... Do I use you? Unable to drag item. Alright, I don't know how to do this. Can I not paddle this? It needs a sail. Paddle is just for the canoe. I'm a... Yep. That, that happened. So I need a sail and a rudder. Okay, well, we have this. I do... Uh, hmm. All right, well, uh, then we're going to need a rudder, right? Now, do you build the rudder separate? I think you do. One small stick. One small stick. And a hammer. Now, how do you attach this thing? Oh. Whoa. You can pull it off? And then pull it back on again? Wow. How would you put this on? Or did I just build a rudder that's just floating in air? Oh, I know in the constant lagging. I don't like that stranded deep fire mechanic. My lag constantly stops me from starting a fire. It's such a pain in the butt. I get closer to getting my controller on fire than I do the dang fire. <laughs> huh? There's my problem. Do I have to pull this back out of the water? And like put it onto a stone, which might be a little bit different mechanic than I'm used to. Take this trunk, if I can kind of prop it a little bit. All right. I don't know, don't, don't do it. Oh, it just, well, that disappeared. That's unfortunate. I don't know how to do this. I definitely need a rudder if I have a sail. Or we just build a canoe and just do that. Quit pulling it, you'll go blind. <laughs> right mouse bumper and drag the good, otherwise it's a pain with it bobbing. Yeah, it's nice to drag it like that. And you can rotate. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, so we do have that. Pick it up and press the button in the center and walk it back to the raft. Pick it up. Well, I have that thing in the middle now. It's kind of a big... No, no. What the hell? I am clearly not doing this right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is a thing. All right. Do I need my hammer in my hand? Ah. 
Got it. Okay. Makes sense. Now we got to make the mast, correct? Sail mast, which I'm assuming we build separately and then attach it. Which looks like, yeah, because it's going to fall. One thick branch. Peyton. Wait a minute. Yeah, Peyton. Thank you so much. Peytonic Bomb. Thank you for subscribing. Jonathan. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community, guys. As I try to fumble through this and figure out this building mechanic. One thick branch. Okay. Now we got to figure out a thick branch. It's not a tree trunk. Uh, what if I cut a ficus or like a regular tree like this? Good luck. Gotta lurk again. I'll be reading and listening. Okay. Family friendly. <laughs> Where are we at? A little thirsty. <laughs> Thick branch. Let's go ahead and move these. There we go. All right. Um, I need to get a little water, so I'm going to open these coconuts. Stamina is low. I'm back from food. Welcome back, Meow. <clears throat> I drink my coffee. <clears throat> okay, so the canoe is the paddle. That makes sense. And we can drink. Nice. How did that do? Brought it down a decent amount, but not perfect. Let's hammer. Kind of like Green Hell look. Yeah, Carl, it's kind of like uh, Green Hell meets Stranded Deep meets just about any kind of... Now we got to... Right? There it is. Okay, I really like the attach mechanic. That's super cool. All right, now we need to make a rule. Let's see. What would be easier for me? Probably palms, considering. I see a lot of stranded deep elements and a lot of green hell elements. Um, a lot of survival elements from different games put together. And if it's made by gamers, then yeah, it totally makes sense, in my opinion. Yeah, so we want to do this, and I guess we're going to... Oh, do maybe we have to actually attach it. No. We're going to be doing it like we always do it. Two sticks, four fronds. That's fine. The more you know. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. So we need two long sticks. Which I can get out of this. Hey, Harry. 24K subs. It's getting there. Good luck. I'm off putting the boy to bed. Yep. Thank you, man, for hanging out. Yeah, we're getting there. When we hit either 25K or 30K, we're going to be doing a charity stream for the Humane Society. That's the plan, at least. Hopefully everything works out. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete moron. I hit the, I hit the wrong button. Oh, so many problems. Where 
Where's my other stick? I lost a stick. Oh, man. All right, well, uh, I'm going to go get another one, I guess. Oh, that's hemp right there. Okay. Can't cut that down. There we go. Grab both of these. Let's dump them right here. And I want to get these sticks just so I don't lose them. We can put these on the beach as well. Let's go ahead and grab the next long stick, and that should be everything that we need. Now, we need to hammer. One of these is a hammer. Oh, I did it again. I keep hitting the wrong dang <laughs> Jesus. Ah. <sighs> So it's not the it's not the right mouse button. It's the left mouse button. Let's try this again. Right mouse button. There we go. So many problems. Make sure. Yep. And if you guys are enjoying the stream, definitely hit that like button. Help push it out. It it just it makes a heck of a difference. We want to drag this up to here, and now we're good, All right? So we should be golden here with this raft. Let me rotate this, put it in the water. Let's go check out another island. Start sailing. Let's see. Up. Down. Okay, up. Okay. Turn. Oh, wow. Left. Wow. Am I going backwards? I am going backwards. Let's turn it around the other way. Now I know. All right. Um, stop sailing. Rotate it. I'll drive it backwards. There we go. There. Start sailing. Let's turn it to the left. Let's bring it up. Dude, don't go to sleep on the raft. Am I going backwards now? I am going backwards. <laughs> Please don't drown in the water. Yeah, you're heavy. Whoa. Having some issues here. Way I'm falling asleep. Don't fall asleep in the water, bro. Yeah, too heavy, you drowned. Love it. All right, we're good. Apparently, I'm having issues. Yeah, this should be correct. Don't fall asleep. Let's start sailing. Up. 
Why am I going backwards? What the hell is going on with this thing? All right. <clears throat> Stop. Let's use. Put all this in here. Now I'm in too shallow water is my problem. There we go. Now let's sail. We're going to go or... Jeez, at this point, I'm thinking the canoe is better. Why am I going backwards? And then when I push the other way... I do not like this. What is going on with this? Let me catch up with chat. Look at the deck. You get sailing UI. Yeah, but okay. Here's the issue. If I, when I turned it around thinking that I put the sail on reverse. How about down? Uh. It's up. I'm not moving anywhere. Let's just stop sailing. Start sailing. I mean, I guess I'm moving, but buddy, I think I'm moving with the current and I'm about to fall asleep. The deck, not the mast. I'm looking at the deck. Left, right, all that. Left, right, center, W. We're not turning. And how the heck do I use the rudder? Well, we're sailing, but we're sailing the wrong direction. Sailing UI. <clears throat> Forward, back, left, center. Got it. All right. Thank you. I was tripping. Now it makes sense. Okay. Oh, wow. There's actually a mechanic to this whole sailing thing. Wow. Do not worry about the sail. Just get on and look at the deck and press you. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Wild. Hit escape. Hello there. Oh, flower shark. Hello? I didn't see you come in. I'm about to fall asleep on this thing, man. We got to sleep when we get there, I think. <laughs> it's so fun. It's like you guys are pretty much seeing like the first impressions here. So bear with me. But uh, what's everybody thinking about in the chat that's just seeing it for the first time? What are you guys' impressions of the game? My impression, personally, is pretty good. I'm enjoying myself. 
Oh, I like the mechanic of the actually having to turn to sail. I'm getting nappy. Hi, Katrine. How are you? Michael, do game developers not have any original ideas? Guess it's easier. Well, the thing about this, Michael, is this is made this is made by gamers. And their survival game, uh, we did an about us. And they're just putting all the mechanics that they set it right up. There was a number of mechanics in different survival games that they really liked, but no game ever had all of them. They decided to make their own game with all of them that they wanted to see in there, which I understand that. I mean, how many times we'd been in a stranded deep and we we're talking about, oh, if it had this, it'd be cool. If it had this, well, they just did, they did it. So. I would like to try it out. Looks like a learning curve for sure. Yeah, that's why I kind of like, Ali, that's why I went uh, in the beginner. You know what I'm saying? So we get the hang of it, everything first before we go into like some hardcore mode. <laughs> you know what I mean? With pirates and like, hey, let's get the hang of the game, the feel of the basics. And then uh, if you guys are enjoying the game, then we can go all in on this thing. It has potential. I think so, too, man. I think so, too. I think it's really fun. Like, I sat down just to learn the basic mechanics yesterday after stream before I fired it up, and uh, I was engrossed. It took me a minute to understand the mechanics and everything, but all is well. I'm about to fall asleep and go in the water. I'm liking it so far. Definitely want to see you play more. Cool. Me, too, man. I definitely want to be playing this. So far, I'm having a having a blast okay and that's our island over there okay you want to go th this way this is cool no wind no upwind no calm no calm wind raft movement automatic raft rotation automatic sails hold let me switch over the Modernator, thank you for subscribing, buddy, and welcome to the community. I am waiting for you to get enough experience so I can see the pirates. Yes, I am all about it, too. We just got to learn the mechanics first, guys, then we'll do a proper playthrough. Pretty much, I'm, you guys know about as much as I do at this point. Some of you know much more. Or break a leg on Koosh with the leg break. Okay. We got a small little island right here. Let's go ahead and uh, escape. Forget about the mass, they said. The Okay. Let's go ahead and go into here and get our stuff back. And uh, I'm going to leave my fire starter in there. Can I split this? No. Leave that and uh, let's eat one. How are we doing on tiredness? We're 100% tired. Let's just... Yeah, we'll be fine. Mr. Turtle. Water. A water barrel. Oh, my raft is going away. Oh, my God. That's a thing. Drop. 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 Oh, my God. Uh, Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Go get it. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't swim. Oh, it's going away. Well, there goes the raft. We're too tired to get it. That's cool. And I'm too tired to swim. 
My raft just left me. <sighs> Come on. You can do this. Get on land. Bye. I'll make a canoe. Let's go to sleep. Sleep until fully rested. <laughs> so that happened. Don't do that. It's like stranded deep all over again. Oh my god. So drag it onto shore, guys. That's a thing. Plus the sails up. I I just oh well. Hopefully I don't get scurvy. Hopefully I don't. <laughs> That happened. I didn't break a leg, but I did watch my raft that we just spent the better part of 30 minutes to an hour building and figuring out how to build it. Just sail away into the sunset. All right, let's catch up with chat here. I think it's going to be sunset soon. It's just floating out there. Can I go get it now that I'm not tired? Oh, yeah. Come on, baby. Please. I can't even get up above the surface. Oh, I don't like that at all. Tool belt. Backpack, tool belt. Okay. I'm going to die. I'm going to freaking die. I got to take all that off too. Oh, hi. 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 Bye. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, oxygen. 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 Yep. Weight is a problem in the water. I'm weak. No kidding. I can barely move. You stay here. You do not me. Do not move. Oh, we're going to die. Oh. Whoa. Holy smoke! No. Wow, look at this storm, guys. Why am I weak? Is there like uh, some kind of thing that'll tell me why? That's the best save you've ever seen or done. <laughs> I got lucky, man. Straight up. All right, I can't turn it down. Um, I probably can for you guys. If I turn it down off of OBS. There we go. That way it's not so loud for you guys. So storms are real, but this will help you collect water. Um, why am I weak? My hunger is only at 18. I'm wet. That's cool. Stamina is good. Tiredness, I don't understand. My health is low. That's why. So how do you feel? Thirst, tiredness, salt. 
I don't see anything about healing. Sailing, hey, that would have come in handy for us. Thirst, tiredness. And then we feature shortcuts. The game sounds so amazing. Thirst equals one. Yeah, but it goes up. Right? It goes up to 100 and being higher, right? Is that how it works? Yeah, because this is water and I just drank that. And we see our hunger is 19. If I went into this crate and ate this, which I'm just going to do. Hunger is now zero. So it goes from zero to 100, 100 being the worst. But we should be good. The only thing I see is very weak is because our health is low. Wow. Let me turn this up a little bit so you guys can actually appreciate this storm. Crap. Yeah. A cell phone and order a pizza. That's what it is, Katrina. I don't have the, the pizza to do. Is your boat sail still up? It may fly away. No kidding? <laughs> uh, thank you for that. Let me stop sailing. Uh, no. Start down. There we go. We stop. All right. It is getting dark, so we should probably make a fire so we don't. That was hilarious. I'm going to knock one of these palms down. Now, I'm assuming that once you cut a tree, it doesn't regenerate, right? Is that correct? You know, it doesn't respawn over time. You just drowned. That's why you're so low. Yeah. Health is low. That storm was amazing. Let me go ahead and turn that sound for you guys back up. There we go. Moderator Howdy. Uh, sorry for the late response. You've got to love finicky web browsers. I hope upon hop, happened upon your channel today while I was looking for ultimate stranded deep raft videos. Oh, you came across my raft building video. And as long, I hope it was helpful, man. I, I really do. Let's go ahead and knock this out get a fire going. And then uh, we'll probably do a little sleeping. I see a sunken ship, which I'm pretty excited to going to make sure I take my backpack and everything off because I think that's going to be a problem. Let's do this. Now I'm assuming you have to have this covered or the rain will knock it out. But uh, I think we should be good. That storm was wicked wild. And the sky got pretty after the storm. It really did. <laughs> All right. Get our stamina back up. It's pretty low. Let's go ahead and pick up some rocks while we're waiting for all that to come back. Mr. Turtle, you do not know. I may have to eat you. Okay. Leave that. Maybe we can just go to sleep. Do the fire in the morning. Oh, well, I guess we can't. Or is it something in my hand? Yeah, that's what it is. Let's just sleep till sunrise. And I catch up. 
I am liking it here so far. Thank you, man. Thank you. The, f the community is amazing. They are the reason I keep going because they are such great people. All right, so should be daylight soon. We can continue on this while we have it like this. I love this. Wait a minute. Let's look at the sky. Nice. The moon. We're going to have to kill a turtle. And then let's beat him down for the meat and the shell, and we can make a water collector. I can sharpen my tools. Popped in to see how the new game uh, is, and almost two hours later, Stranded Deep is still paused on the Xbox. <laughs> it's so good. I am having so much fun with it. Yes. Oh, look at all that meat, bro. We definitely need to cook this up. And uh, we'll take the shell with this. We'll work on a collector or something. We do have water here. Um, I could probably always take this back with us in our, in our little box, our crate. Let's go back to this. I want to cook this meat. Get this into fire sticks. Don't kill the turtle. That's food, bro. Turtle soup on Koosh. Three and four. And then I believe it's a medium, some medium sticks or small sticks rather. Like so. And I kind of should put 10 stones around there if I can find 10 stones. Let's see. Two. Three. Four. Five. Two. Three. Oh, one is a sharpening stone. But let's drop that on the ground. We don't need that right now. And I'm um, going to need more. It's a carving rock. If I can actually find enough sticks. Oh, this is good. Bring this over. Oh! Thank you for subscribing, sir. I am not going to try to pronounce your name. I'm afraid I'm going to butcher it and just ask anybody here. I suck at names, but thank you for subscribing and welcome. Welcome, sir, to the community. Let's get rocks. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, iron. That's what's up. Can I put these? I can. One, two, three, four, five. I probably could have just made a fire out of that thing instead of building my own then. Now that I know how that works, I will do that next time if I come across one. But in the meantime, it is what it is. Oh, a little short. I think I'm one short. Yeah, one is good. Yeah, I could have literally just added uh, wood to that and made my own fire. There it is. Okay. Um, I think I can just start this. No, nope, no kindling. I keep forgetting the kindling. There it is. Oh, that's so good. Let's take this meat. How much can we put on here? Oh, really? 
Whoa. Nice. All right, now we got to figure out how do I take off my backpack? Just like, okay, I would have to take stuff out of it, I think. Drop, 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 drop. You know what? I'm an idiot. Let's go ahead and take all this up. And we'll put it in our crate. That way we have a place to store everything. Bolaño, and if I pr totally butchered your name, I apologize. Welcome to the community. Thank you for subscribing. And if you guys are enjoying the stream, please hit that like button. Consider hit tickle in that like button. It makes a huge difference and helps get it out. Yeah, we're going to leave that. We're going to take that off. And then all I have is this, which I can put in my hand. And I'm going to add it to the fire. Just like that. So now we should be able to hit the X. Oh, that's cool. Okay, now we won't drown. And can I still get in this? That's all I can. Okay. Okay, so this is kind of like a cheap way to like have different backpacks sitting out with different items in it that you can grab. That's you got like your bug out bag, you're gonna go explore, you grab that one. Ooh, very cool. Love it. Catch up. <clears throat> I'm just a girl in the world. <laughs> Where's the bronze age? Yes, welcome guys, welcome. I am loving this game. It is so good so far. All right, well, we have this, which I really think we may end up taking back with us so we have another water catcher, or we may find a better island to set up shop. It's not like we're going to leave a whole bunch of stuff behind, right? We really haven't done much over there. Kind of waiting for the sun to come up, but... I said sunrise, but maybe... I got that wrong. I don't know. <clears throat> but it's dark. I can't see. see what else we can craft while we're waiting here we can make let's let's play with the structure right so let's uh let's check out the building mechanics i know that's something everybody's interested in want to kind of keep it up a little bit just in case the water it looks like uh in the storms the water comes up high so we want to kind of keep it up there now can i add something else build Oh, it just goes just on like that. Okay. Um, and then what about stairs? Oh. Wood ramp, narrow ramp. Oh, and it gives... Okay. Um, or right here on the side, wind, shade, water... So what about this? Oh, wow. Okay. The walls have ratings too. Banana leaves is better. The basic palm wall too is actually really nice. We have half walls. Um, look at these guys. Plank railings. Oh, basic plank railings, plank walls. All right. We have half walls, just half walls. Look at this. A basic railing. Stick railing, which actually looks pretty dope. All right, let's see openings. Let's really look through this. Well, it's dark anyway, so let's... Oh. Half plank opening? Plank door. Different doors with ratings. So palm is... Oh, wow, look at that. Long stick, two small sticks, three fronds, and four hammer hits. This is great, and look at the rating on that. Let me catch up with chat. Hey, Bologno. I know how the heat does not affect you as much like Stranded Deep. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's definitely a thing. Okay, so Plank is pretty good. What's the difference? Oh, so the difference between this one and this one is more materials. You can actually see there's more gaps between the planks. 
So it's more watertight, airtight. Okay. Let's scroll down. Oh. Brass windows so you can open and close them? Oh, that's nice. Okay. That's openings. We know what shelters are. These are the walls. Uh, roof. Different roofs. Look at all the roofs. Okay. Pillars, which we know, which then, okay. Strong foundation pillars. The uh, very basic component. They may need to be placed only on ground. <clears throat> okay. So we have that. Um, let's go ahead. Let's bust out our new handy dandy axe and let's get working. Let's check our food though before it goes bad. Oh, and that's going to go out. So let's get some wood on that fire. Oh, that's not it. I need to break them down. Oh, that's right. I don't have my backpack. There we go. There we go. Keep that fire going. I love that mechanic that you got to keep it. Oh, there's smoke. Oh, wow. You got to... <clears throat> okay. That fire stick over there. Yeah. We do need to get some dry grass. I know Tim did mention dry grass as a tinder, which he's right. That would be a lot easier to use to burn than something like coconut fiber. <clears throat> Hey, Cody. Window shutters. Yes, exactly, Meow. Isn't that not so cool? Got to go early today. I'm looking forward to watching more of this game. Lots of love to everybody. Adam, if you got a jet, sir, have a great rest of your afternoon. We'll see you next time. And the belt is still on me. Do I have to take my tool belt off? Yeah, you know what? Probably. I really don't want to drown, so we'll take all our stuff off. All right. In the morning, I think, when the sun comes up. Yep, you can see the moon going down. We'll definitely check out that wreck. The meat is cooked. Let's go ahead and eat. Uh, there we go. I want it just laying on the ground. So I'm thinking big structures, barges with a house. I believe we can build like a hut in there with storage. Guys, there's some potential here. I am really excited. All right, let's go back to building the structure. as I get carried away. There we go. There's that. Uh, I can't pick that up. Oh, maybe I gotta hit it again. There we go. Now we got a trunk. So that should be both sides. I don't have my hammer on me. Let me check chat real quick. Ran away and came back. It really did. 
need to get need to make an anchor so you can check out that shipwreck too i wonder if your backpack and tool belt wasn't making you sink earlier i think it was that's why we took everything off no anchor on here no but you can lift the raft really easy like the weight of it really isn't an issue all right um whoops i know there's nothing in there but i think we put it all in here yes we did so let's go ahead and switch out while our fire burns let's go ahead and grab some more of this keep that fire going go to number one make it easier if we could do this with the during the daytime but okay and then so there's that we're gonna have to wait for the sunrise which should be any time now that way we can all see so we'll stand here i'll talk to you guys <clears throat> so i'm loving this game Salt is essential to maintain your body's vital functions. It can be found in collectible bottles or can be distilled using salt water and some water holder uh, object. Low salt level will cause health degradation and death. All right, that's a thing. It can be found in some collectible bottles or can be distilled using salt water and a water holder object. So what would that be? Oh, look at this. There's the smoker, guys. There's a drying rack. That's very green hellish. That's very, I love it. Fish trap. Oh, very nice. We have a bench, chairs, beds grass bed okay <clears throat> less comfortable sleep okay now what about oh here place a water holder object underneath a dew catcher and find small amounts of water collected overnight okay so this is very uh green hellish i like that i i like that one we need like we can use a coconut bowl or something if we can find something that holds more that'd be cool trunk holder oh cool maybe we can put that on a boat and then like go farm trunks at other islands and bring them back recipes food recipes coconut pot water two piece two salmon and cooking for a hundred palm oil Coconut pop with the coconut flesh. Boiled fish and eggs. Boiled meat. Look at this. Fish stew. Hunger 90, thirst 10. Hunger 100, that's meat stew. Wow. Let me check the chat real quick. Has anyone ever chopped down a tree before with a hand axe? Took us two days. No kidding, monkey. <laughs> All the audio is greatly improved. From South African brothers and sisters. Wait a minute. Let me scroll up and see this. If you sharpen that iron axe, it'll save you some stamina. How do I do that, Wild? Is this one of the games that the game devs wanted you to play? No, no, this is one I had on my radar, Eric. That other game we haven't checked out yet, but we will. And we're going to do it live. How do I sharpen that axe? That's my question. Let's see.
Shards, thirst, tired, and salt. I gotta check that out. Tool sharpening. Cutting tools can be uh, sharpened to prolong their usability. A carved carving stone is used in the sharpening process. Sometimes the sharpening process needs to be repeated multiple times. Sharpening a tool reduces its maximum. Okay. It reduces its stamina. It's already, stamina is already low. But we have a carving stone here. So what do I do? Drop this. Oh. Oh, okay, you repaired it. Okay, that's the sh- okay. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Literally, this fire is going to go out about the time the sun comes up, and then we're going to be checking out, uh, checking everything out. <clears throat> Hi from Malaysia. Hi. If you need salt, then just drink a tiny amount of salt water or use it in food making. Yeah, maybe that's it. Really enjoying this? Thank you. I am loving this game. Drop it on the ground and hit it with a rock. Okay. Thank you, Wild. The tree was dead too, so it didn't get to fight back. I just close my eyes and try listening to the sounds. It's so relaxing. <laughs> Haven't chopped a tree, but did help chop a coconut tree with a machete. Oh my god. <clears throat> Literally just waiting for the sun, which should be coming up soon. And we came from that island and directly behind us. I would love... I do believe there's a map, compass, and all that, which we can see... All right here, map, compass, clock, telescope, and sextant, which go here, and I think uh, that's going to be cool. From Sweden, hello! All right, <clears throat> son, any time now. All right, well, while we're doing this, let's uh, do some chopping. Cut the fronds. Let's uh, cut this trunk. We may need it. Let's grab all these fronds. Kind of move them. Over here, let's drop them on the ground. There we go. <clears throat> Love how it slowly comes daylight. Wow, that's cool. All right, we're going to need to put some more sticks on the fire or we're going to be in darkness. Let's cut this. Oh, and then it smokes because it's wet. Oh, that makes total sense. Okay. Kind of cool, to be honest. It's not dry. Look at that. That's cool. Now, that should be all that I need to put on. Soaked from the rain. Wow. Very cool. All right. We got a little bit of light. Um, can't turn the gamma up, so. Now, if we come in here and we go back to build. Let me check the chat real quick. 
Careful direct intake of salt water will increase thirst. Norway there. Yes, Orin. Hi from Germany. Oh, Peter Pan. Thank you. Welcome. Hello from space. Eric Nielsen's from space. How is the International Space Station? Only ever seen real coconut trees once and bananas grow upside down. Barbados is awesome. Ooh, I am jealous. Hello from Earth. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I haven't watched in a while because my Subnautica data is gone. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cookie. What happened? Did it corrupt or? Oh, Cody, you're killing me with the dancing. That's not me, Cody. My wife, I showed my wife and she was like, I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks like you. She didn't say it was me. She said it looked like me. Okay, so we got to put a frame around that. Um, the problem is we don't have a lot of coconut trees here, so let's dip away with that. There's got to be something else we can use just so we can test this out. We got a weak beam. We're just going to use sticks, long sticks. Well, if I could actually. B. Oh, well. Yeah, this. This will work. There we go. So we need two long sticks. I can get some long sticks. I know it's still dark. Just kind of the way it is right now. Dry grass. There's dry grass. How long is this night, man? Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the community. There we go. Get that fire going. Even though it looks like almost like we're putting it out. As weird as that is. Bro, what time is it? Do I have a map? No navigation tools equipped. Doesn't tell me a time, but I did see in crafting. Hold on. We got to find this tools. Look at this. A sundial. Well, I didn't mean to do that, but this is a thing. Let's do this. Let's play with this one fire stick, bro. I can get a fire stick. That's it. Don't you put stones and stuff on it? No. Hmm. <clears throat> it's slowly getting lighter though. All right, so two long sticks. We got to put the frame up like this. And then we want to go in with our hammer. Like so. Check. Do we have that on Discord? It's a dark o'clock. <laughs> hey, Sasquatch. You can finally build a houseboat. Why are you building on, on the land? Because I want to go play with all the mechanics. So we know what we're doing. And show everybody, you know, kind of highlight stuff. Okay, so basic palm wall. You can see the, the ratings on that, but we don't really have palm trees. Wait a minute. Can we do like stick wall? I want, I want openings. I would like like windows, right? Oh, we got to do a floor first. What am I talking about? 
basic palm roof, which is two palm fronds. No, that's a roof. I want a floor. A floor, man. Basic wood floor. Seven long sticks. Wow. These are all roofs. So that's the only floor we... Well, no, it isn't. Basic plank floor, plank floor. Okay. That makes sense. Something sturdy. So that would be 14 long sticks. Okay, so that makes sense. And then we would just attach it like this. Right? Okay, and then we need a way to get up there. So... Somewhere... Yeah, right here. Uh, I would say just attach it like that. And then we would go from there. Oh, the sunrise comes up slowly. There's that wreck. We're definitely going to be checking that out. Oh my god, it's a baby. Young. And, okay. So we need long sticks. That's basically what we're doing here. We're just going to cut trees. Playing with this whole feature here. One thick branch. Which, uh, wait, was right here, right? Oh, I have no light. There we go. And as soon as it gets light enough, we're going to go check out that wreck. Wow, super cool. Let's do this. Oleander. And we can put this onto this one. There's one stick, and that looks like all I'm getting out of that. So I need four of those. Might be the wrong place to actually cut this stuff. But we're going to play with it and get an idea of what's going on. Pick up these thick branches, and uh, we'll drop them on the beach so we can see them. Oh, look at this. Whoa. Medium chest. Let's look inside it. We have a silver goblet. Okay. Candle. That's nice. And drop that. Look inside that. Oh, we have a piece of paper. A piece of paper with written on it, unread, need to read. Okay. Sun's almost up. Look at that sun. Very nice. All right, let's go back to this. I dropped those on the ground. Here is my long sticks. All right, cool. All right, so we just need to hammer that floor. And I'm going to need these thick branches. So let's just grab them. Sun's almost high enough that we can go check out some wrecks. Check chat real quick. Like all the good games, uh, this don't count in it to come to console in the next few years, if at all. Well, it's only alpha right now, Rob. So um, if it is going to come to console, we got a long way to go. And we don't need that. Drop that on the ground. What do we need? We need small sticks. And we need six long sticks. Well, let's find a bigger tree. Bananas. With baby bananas. Well, I'm not cutting... Oh, I'm going to cut this, though.
We'll leave this on the beach so we can see it. Oh, yeah, well, let's grab these and bring this over to our little camp. Hey, what are you guys doing? <gasps> Weibos, we got eggs. Hey, what's this? Okay, so that's the crate where we get planks, okay. I'll leave that there. Oh, here's another one. Now that I can actually see what I'm doing. Oh, here's a bucket. Oh, that's gonna come in handy. Cool area, but uh, not a lot of resources, right? Grab this. Drop that. We got turtles, a lot of turtles. All right, let's see. Oh. There is that. Now, if I'm correct, we can hit M. <gasps> Aiming mode. Oh, look at that. What? A question mark? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I believe that's the island we started on. So, mark it. Now, if we look on here, let's see if we can get into the sun so you guys could actually see. There we go. Oh, it shows a line in the direction that it is. Okay. Editing mode, left shift. Wait a minute. Oh, you can rename it? What about Island One? I know I'm original. Oh. So apparently we haven't been to that island or anything else. Or it's only in. And then you go like this. Now, if I hit the mark again, it unmarks. That's cool. Now, if I want to go mark this and then I want to go into editing. So hold this. Can I edit this point? No, we actually have to explore it. OK, so I'll just hit M, put it away. That's super cool. Let's save our game right here. Check the clock now. Okay. Where is the clock? There it is. Bro. Yeah, that's like the worst location. All right. Uh, we are working on this. Give me a few more here. What do we need? I still need long sticks. I think I got distracted. I think I can cut these into long sticks. Yep. Just so we can get an idea of this building process. And I know you can build it on, on the raft, just haven't done that yet. I love the modules, taking them off and putting them on. You can move them around. That's, that's nice. All right, now we just need to hammer, which is number one. That does it, you're getting this. I didn't, you don't know the distance yet. Need to do cross observations. Yeah, it's the, 
And then I do believe once we've explored, like we've explored that island and it pops up on the map, then we can go back and we can like label that. We can pull our map up and we can label that island a different name. And so when you hold your map out and you aim it, it'll pop up like you right now when we do it. So let's hear, let's do that again. As we do it, it's just an exclamation point. Let's unmark that. Um, like that's an, that's a question mark, question mark. We haven't been there. Once we've been there, whatever we name it, it'll, it'll tell us what that name is. That is so nice for not getting lost. All right, we need uh, two small sticks. And then we need to explore that wreck. Well, there's one. Oh. We'll take those large ones, those large poles. We're going to need them. One thing at a time. All right, let's take these poles back. There we go. How's our food? We're a little thirsty, but we're all right. Let's go ahead and take this. Pull this and let's get a small stick off of it. Go. Whoops, here. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. So let's hit B. Let's go into openings. We need to decide what kind of opening we would do. I mean, basically how the walls work. Uh, oh, you know what we do need to do? We need to go back into pillars and do a pillar. One there. One there. Just so we can get the idea. Then we have these two. You gotta put the frame up, right? Then I do have a number of these, so we could probably use some palm fronds. Raft, green hell, the forest. Yeah, it's like a mesh of all of it. All right, so if we hit B, we come back in, we go to openings. Let's just make the basic one here, which should attach just like that. All right. Uh, do I have it on the wrong side? I have no idea. What do we need? A long stick and a small stick. Jane, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Well, let's hammer this in. And there's that. Well, I put it on the wrong side. So obviously you want to be this way facing to put your door frame in or rotate it. We didn't know that. But you get the basic idea. <laughs> So then, uh, if I wanted to do a wall, we would come back into building pillars. We would want to put another post. And depending on how structurally sound it is, I guess, would depend on if it lasts through the, like, brutal storms, right? And there's that. So now if I come back into build and we go to openings, we want to do... What is that? Two long sticks, one small stick, two tall grass rolls. No, no, no. Three palm fronds, as long as I still have them. One. 
One, two, three. Yeah, we can do that. We'll do a basic one. Just a cheap one. Okay. One, two, three. And a long stick. Which... Uh, I guess we can get from one of these. Take these over there. Oh my god, I did it again. So many problems. B, oh, C for cooking, okay. Let's try this again. One, two, three. One long stick. Hammer. Yeah, I'm literally putting it on the wrong way. <laughs> but whatever. <clears throat> okay. Um, well, now that we know what we're doing, let's put a few of these pillars up. I'm just curious. Like so. So we basically need three more. And uh, there's one right there. Let's put that in. Then we have this. We can cut up and get the other two. Just like so. I love the building. Pretty good. More com more complex, more in depth. Love the feel of it. All right. Let's go hit B. Let's go to more openings. The more the better. I say we just uh If I wanted to do half walls, I'm just playing with stuff here. No, we want a roof over our head, I think. One frond. Three fronds. I don't think we have enough palm fronds. We would need banana leaves. We have one there. Two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we have enough for two walls. Let's just put windows in. Small, cheap windows. Let's rotate this. So we have the actual right way. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Drop this on the ground. Oh, whatever that is. So there's the sundial, but there's gotta be more to it than that. I got to go. Can't stay awake anymore. Ankush, have a great night, sir. It's okay. You are a cowboy builder. Luckily, I don't think your wife would let us get stranded together. <laughs> no, she'd kick my butt, man. All right, let's cut these up. One, two, three, four... There we go. And then we can take three palm fronds. And then we hammer. All right. 
Cool. Now we only have enough of those for one more. I really am not going to cut this banana tree down. It's growing bananas, bro. I'm not even going to attempt that. But this is dead, and I think we could probably cut that down. But that's the basic gist of that. For now, let's leave that. We come back to it. Let's wait a minute. Let me... Maybe I got to drop these. Let's save our game. Oh, you can see it. Oh, this is the highlight of the island. Okay. So that's a dope wreck. Okay. Let's let's do our first wreck dive. I definitely can move faster, that's for sure. I'm tired, I'm thirsty. Now is not the time, bro. I'm building a house so you can sleep inside of it. <gasps> can I grab these? Go up, go up. Well, it weighs you down when you grab it, though, yeah? Wow. Oh, that's dangerous. I love the mechanic of it. Come on. All right. I had to drop it. I don't know where it is now. I dropped the crate. I don't know where it is. Well, that sucks. We'll have to come back and look for it. Wreck diving's dangerous. I'm exhausted. Love the realism? For real. The Squirrel's Nest. Thank you for subscribing. Love the name. That's pretty awesome. And now I'm just buoyant. So we have a crate somewhere in the water out there that we'll have to actually try to recover. Can I grab this? No. I'm sure there's more to this wreck than what we're seeing. We are in a pretty bad state. There's an anchor. All right, well, let's go. Can I get up? See if I can find that crate I was carrying. Nope. Go back to some base building. Press the right mouse button and scroll the crate out. That will... I don't have the crate on me. I dropped it. All right, well, we have this. Go back and check that thing out again. Okay, so I could probably cut these banana trees. It looks like it's dying. I need to get my tools. Yeah. And uh, thirst... We're all right for now. Have you played Green Hell? Love your streams, by the way. Beast, yes. Played Green Hell. Uh, played the forest. I just killed the heck out of that tree. That probably didn't need to do that.
I'm sure there's more to wreck diving than what we saw. I want to get these banana leaves off. There we go. Just want to test this whole building process out. Uh, live streams and uh, a couple uh, guides. Beast. A couple guides and uh, a live, some live streams. No, I don't want to hit it. I want to pick it up. There's no picking it up. Trim the grass. Okay. Let's go back and get some more. All right. We'll leave that for now. Which survival game is my favorite? I don't have a necessary, necessarily a favorite one. I think if I had to choose just one to play forever, it might be Seven Days to Die. At least that's where it is right now. I like them all, man. I like them all just for their equal challenge. Strong statue. Strange statue. All right, well, let's go back in. Let's build some more walls. Three fronds. Do I have enough? do let's put that in I don't even care if it's right way or not at this point and I guess I can there we go uh, what do we want one, two, three. There we go. Then we just need the banana leaves. One, two, three, four. All right, let's bust out our hammer. I do love the fact that if you're carrying something heavy and you're in the water, it weighs you down. Even though we kind of just dumped it, I just didn't realize it, but I love that. I love that realism. It makes the risk of fishing something out of the water even more you know i literally put all this the wrong way <laughs> oh well whatever it is what it is don't at me all right so if we want to put a roof on basically just getting an idea of this i'm gonna have to do banana leaf roof do i want it just flat or do i want to gabe like a Basic roof, two banana leaves, and four long sticks. Wow. Can I just... Oh. I bet you we have to put the frame on. Yeah, we do. Oh, wow. Okay. So there's that. Now we need two more long sticks. My goodness. Gonna drop that there. Let me check chat. Seven days to die is brutal. I've never played it, but it is pretty hard core trying to survive. It is. It's fun. Green L is cool. Story is nice. Have you ever played the Long Dark strategies? I have. I actually did a full Hermadeath playthrough uh, story mode kind of my way. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, it's called The Survivor, and it is on the page now. Got about 10 episodes. 
What are we looking for? Long sticks, long sticks. I'm gonna be balding this island. Dump these here. Let's cut this. Long stick, small sticks can stay there. I want to go back out to that ship too. One. Did I not? For real? Okay. All right, so that one is up, but we have one more that we need to build. Maybe. Yeah. Nope, I hit the wrong button. There it is. All right, now we need to hammer this. And there's that. Now, we want to do like a standard banana leaf. Can I rotate it? I can. B. Rotate. Bam. Jessica, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the community. Four long sticks. We're going to need eight long sticks. Four banana leaves. One, two, three, four. There we go. We're going to need long sticks. Let me catch up with chat real quick. The Long Dark is my favorite game so far. There is literally, that game is no joke strategies. Seven Days to Die is your favorite game. Yeah. Um, I am loving Alpha 20 right now. I will say that. Do it. Put the roof on upside down. Catch the rain. <laughs> you have a nice parking lot next to your house. I still fail to aim the long dark. That's hard. And the harder, the longer you hold that gun up, like the rifle, the harder it is to hold. And if you're tired and there's so many factors that go into it. I believe that Dr. Squatch makes the soap. Yep. All right. Anyways, 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 let's go back to this. We need more sticks. We have two there. I'm going to bald this island while we test all this stuff out. We want to go back out. Cut it this way. Actually, really need to find a better island, to be honest. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe. Close to what we need. Two, three, four. Oh yeah, we got what we need. So we get an idea of this. Whoa. There we go. Now bust out the hammer well, let's do this nice Danny D thank you for subscribing welcome to the community Okay, so there's that. And obviously, we don't want that, so there's got to be a cap for that. Let's hit B. There is these right here. 
Banana leaves, one long stick. Okay, we're so we're gonna do this. Let's turn it. Is this the wrong one? All right, let's hit B. Maybe that's the wrong one. I don't know why it would be. Let's try putting it in on the inside. Hmm. I still want like a cheap version. Can't get it on. I know it goes on too because it's got to. You can do grass. Freaking palm frond, I don't know. Oh, it goes on that way. You got to put it in the middle? Oh, I can see that's kind of weird. We'll just leave it like that for now. I don't care. <clears throat> Let's try a door. Basic palm door. I don't even think we have palms, right? We have one banana leaf, though. Basic palm, basic palm. Banana door. Yeah, let's do a banana door. Drop it on the ground. Go ahead and grab our hammer. One long stick, just because this is the materials I got laying around. Obviously, we could do something much better. I uh, need a small stick. I oh, just got one right here. Cool. Now. How do I hang this damn thing? Did I mess up? You're thinking of Stranded Deep. This game is PC only. All right, let's go back in here. Let's look at these doors. I think I may have messed up. Can I just add it to the doorway? Or is, no. There we go. There we go. Now, how do you open it? That's cool and all. Weird. Leave that there. I need thirsty. Uh, thirst, hunger is okay, but, uh, we can go in here and we can eat something. Go ahead. Take a drink of this. And drop that on the ground. You go stand here in the shade and catch up with chat. It's a trap. Yeah. All 
All right. I'm not sure how the door mechanic works, but we're in. You get the basic gist of a house. Now, in order to put the end caps on, we have to put one in either side of the roof, so we would have to put one in the middle. I don't know if I like that personally, um, but that's how it worked. Let's go back and check. I'm really tired. Save my game right here. Let's go back and see if we can get anything. This may be foolish because I'm tired, but it is what it is. All right, what can we do here? It's just an empty wreck. We are exhausted. Come on, baby. All right. I didn't really see anything there, you know? Well, I say we get ourselves all situated in order and we go check out something else. Use the small rope to attach the door after positioning it. Oh, goblet, you are smart. I bet you're right. Okay. I haven't been to the really on the other side of this small little island. Something over there, and it looks like maybe another wreck. Yeah, we were over here. I'm curious to go to another island. Let's go to that one, I think. I think that's where we came from, to be honest. Would be cool to put the cannons... Um, just so my kid can join me. I don't believe you would lose trophies. I'm just playing on beginner right now, Mr. C. And uh, I'm still getting trophies. I'm about to fall out, though. I'll tell you that right now. All right, so let's put a bed in here. We'll just do something cheap, right? Grass roll now. Banana leaf bed. What, two long sticks and a small stick? Okay. Can I... Uh, one small stick, two long sticks, two banana leaves. I'm not going to worry about the door, I'll be honest. Um, can I break it up? Oh, yes, sir. But now I know, I need the rope. Probably need some strong rope or something. I'm really just kind of playing with it, honestly. One long stick, one banana leaf, which uh, we're gonna need to get. There's two long small sticks right there, which I'd like to bring over here to the, to the sand so that we can see them better. Let's go ahead and get this. Cut the oleander. There's a long stick. There we go. The thick branch, drop it right there. And uh, we need another banana leaf. This one's almost dead, so we can cut it. One, two, three.
There we go. Now we just need to hammer it. I would kind of like to play with the windows. I imagine we're going to need to make them separate, attach them, and then I'm falling asleep here. That's why it's like that. And then use rope on them, right? And probably... Hmm, okay. Has something to do with how you attach the door. Depends on if you put it your walls in the right way. But there we go. We have a basic little house. All right. Let's see how we're doing. Hunger, thirst. We're just really tired. Let's just... Let's go to sleep. Sleep until fully rested. There is pirates in the game. I, I chose not to start with them strategies. Um because we didn't know anything about the game. I do, if we do a proper playthrough, if you guys like the game and you guys want to do a proper playthrough, we are definitely playing with pirates because that adds, that adds such a cool element to it. I'm thinking we might need some, some fire going on. Well, let's do this. And I think uh, in the morning, We can go to a new island. My sleep schedule is all kinds of messed up. So I think regulating your sleep when you go to sleep, how much energy you use will actually put you in alignment because we are completely messed up right now. Which, that's a, that's a cool mechanic, and I believe that's green hell. So, very cool. Now, let's go ahead and put this on. Put that on, and that on. Go into here, we can take this and put it in our hand. I want to get some dry grass, I think. Then we can get some more food. Wait. Put it to bag. Ah, cool. Cool. We have fire. Well, we have a number of things over here that I kind of want to look through to see if we're going to take any of them with us. I think the candle, I'm not sure how that's going to work, but uh, that is nothing. We have this. I don't know what that is, but I don't want to leave it. Let's empty it. And let's pick it up. I'm definitely not not leaving without that. It's like that. What is that? Coconut fiber. Catch up with Chad here. Your sleep schedule would probably be good if you were in this situation working during the night to avoid the sun is a good idea. Yeah. 
haven't had time to watch the stream today, but what are your first impressions of the game days? Um, first of all, um, I would like to say for Alpha, it plays pretty good. I haven't really run into any issues uh, bug-wise. I know they're out there, um, but I haven't personally ran into them. It feels good. It does. There's a lot of great mechanics from different games. I recognize some mechanics from Green Hell that I really like. Uh, Stranded Deep as well. It definitely has a Stranded Deep vibe, uh, but that's not necessarily because they're trying to copy them. It's just an island adventure, right? You're, you're, you're trapped on an island, but it definitely has that vibe. I like it. It plays great. Um, I like that you have to watch your hunger, third ti thirst, tiredness, body temp, whether you get wet, you have to watch your salt, your vitamin C, you know what I'm saying? Like there's all different kinds of things that you really have to watch. I love it. I love the crafting. Look at all these different things that we can build. And then we went over all of this. I. I love the skills idea. So if we come here to this to build, what is it? Uh, the quality of the build objects. So right now, the higher your build skill, the better the quality of it is. So right now we got an extra 10%, but the next level it goes to 20, right? So like there's all kinds of things. There's farming, you know? Fire starting, just there's so much to it that I really enjoy. Um, and I think that one of the good things, one of the, a good mark of a really good survival game, in my opinion, is all the micromanaging little things that you have to do that keeps you busy and sucked up. Oh, I have a fire. I'm getting cold or hungry. I got to go make a fire. In order to make a fire, I have to make four small fire sticks then i gotta get some small sticks right and then i can add to this fire so i don't have to keep making a whole fire every time i can just add wood to it right i like that i can cook more than one thing on a campfire at a time around the big stones i mean there's just so many different things i like it i really like the game that's my opinion i like it i think it's very well done for alpha for alpha right now wow guys it's it's legit Yeah, health came up for me sleeping and resting and making sure I had food and water, as far as I can tell. I would like to sleep until daylight, you know. I'm sorry, little guy, but you got to go. I need your food. going to keep that I'm going to keep this for when we find a good island to rest on this one isn't good it's just not enough materials on here to really start setting up a good one I mean, look how much meat we can cook. You got 10 stones, right? So. We have some stuff over here, I think. No. See the globe from distance? That looks nice. Yep, so we're going to bail out of here in the morning. I mean, you put a wet wood on there, it smokes. That's pretty realistic. There's a lot of realism to it. What are your guys' thoughts? You guys have been watching it as long as I've been streaming it, most of you. What are the thoughts on this? Wow, this looks a lot like Stranded Deep. Same devs? No, sir. This is by Gamers for Gamers. This is uh, 
basic gist of the company is a bunch of survival game players that really like the survival genre, just like all of us. And they decided, they said in their About Us page that uh, there was a lot of mechanics in all different kinds of survival games that they really enjoyed, but they could never find one game with all of them. So they decided to make their own. And this is it. And it's in the alpha stage. So yeah, it looks a lot like Stranded Deep. It really does. But there's, there's like uh, some vibes for Green Hell in here from the forest as well. So I kind of get that vibe where they're putting all different things, like uh, picking the best of things that they like from different games and putting it into their own. They didn't give me this game. I bought this with my own money. Um, I had my eye on it, and I'm enjoying it. So, just so we're all, everybody understands. Some more on there. Just put the wood on there. Put it all. There you go. I love the smoke. That's cool. I love this game so much. I may have to get a gaming PC now. Well, if you guys are really enjoying it, this can be a straight up live stream every Sunday. Like we can do this. We can start fresh. Probably next Sunday. We'll start fresh and we'll do a full playthrough. We'll explore the game as much as we can. I mean, we could just start from here, I guess. That'd be fine. We don't have to start fresh. I'm totally digging it, though, guys. Fire looks really great. They've done a lot of work, man. It looks really good. I remember seeing something about Gamers for Gamers talking about making their own game a couple years ago, but I didn't delve into it. I like what I see, so bought it and we'll play it soon. Oren, fantastic. Let me know in, in Discord what you think, what your impressions are. Blake, from first appearance, this game looks beautiful. It is, it's great, it's great. One thing I really liked, guys, was the weight mechanic in the water. Um, I mean, like, think about, like, from Stranded Deep point of view, you have your pockets full, you got like metal, you got all kinds of stuff. You're basically heavy, but you're just swimming, you're buoyant as hell. Um, that's not the case here. You have to like, I had to take like my backpack off, my side bag, my tool belt, take all my stuff out. And if I was, and when I was tired, really tired and I was trying to swim, I was having a hard time staying afloat and staying above the water. So I'm thinking as your skill goes up for swimming you'll get better right endurance when swimming stamina will be dropped slower right now it's 40 percent so you guys can get the idea like i i love that mechanic it's very real it's a great game guys i really enjoy it can't wait to play it oh yes you guys it's on steam right now early access you guys want to take take advantage of it while you can because this thing is a little gem that most people don't know about and that's my opinion I'm starting to wonder, is this the Stranded Deep Killer? I mean, I don't know. Kelly, can you go through all the different types of gameplay available before you end the stream? Yeah, we'll go back to the beginning and we'll go through everything. All of the... Did your bikini add to your buoyancy? Oh, you're killing me, Dave. You're killing me. That's not me. Yes, Kelly, uh, before we end the stream, we'll go back and we can, we'll start up like we're starting a new one. And uh, we'll go through all the different settings and things you can do. Do we know the game engine for this game? Oh, I don't know, Eric. The fire sounds good, doesn't it? Any idea of the end game, like final objective? We're just kind of playing out there. I'm not playing the uh, story mode. We're going to go through all of that in, at the uh, towards the end of the stream. I'm thinking I want to get to a new island before we go to there. We're, I, I can't believe we've already got three and a half hours into this game. I get sucked in. Cooked meat. Cool. Let's go ahead and eat one. 
And I'm going to put the rest in here. Like so. And uh, can I stack that? I can. <clears throat> Let me see this weight. I wonder if this crate gets too heavy. Oh, 119 of 432 weight. And yeah, it's not about how much is in your bag. It's about how heavy everything is. Weight is the factor, not the inventory. Not necessarily inventory space. It looks like it's kind of like a combination of both. I think we can actually go to sleep now. Yeah, let's sleep until sunrise, and then we'll get out of here. We'll try to learn the sailing mechanic again. The moon is way overhead, and I said sunrise. This looks like moonrise, bro. Sleep until sunrise. All right, well... Maybe we just get out of here. Do you know if plants respawn? I don't know yet. I heard I heard some rumors that trees don't respawn, which if that's the case, that's kind of a massive issue for resources. But we don't I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna test all that in our playthrough online. So that we know everything. And then uh as we test things out and figure them out, um, I will start putting some basic guides together for everybody. Um, and just know that it's alpha, so things can change, right? Things are it's still being developed. Okay, you can start to see the glow on the horizon. I think we should just go. Unity engine. Thank you, Mr. Khan. I appreciate that. I wasn't sure. I love your guys' enthusiasm, man. I'm, I'm digging the game, I'll be honest. All right, so we want to go here. We want to start sailing. No. We want to exit. We want to go here to the mast. We want to raise it. We want to go here. Whoops. We want to start sailing. We want to go forward. Now we're going to name this island. Swim in the water to get tired. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. And yes, when it starts to get dark, if you're not tired enough, swim around till you get tired. That's awesome. Great idea. Plus, it'll uh, up your swimming level, too. Let's just hit center. And let's just do this. Natural disasters sound like. Could you imagine a tsunami or a water hurricane? Judging from that storm we got and, and how structures have different per properties, like if you go with a higher, sturdier construction on your base, even though it takes more materials, it actually holds more things out. I wonder if that is an issue. Those are all things we're going to test out. Yes, I wish Stranded Deep had waves go up on the beach. There's so many, like, this game is pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. I think this is our starting island. There are... 
new clusters that you have to find new map and islands. Oh, cool. Very cool. So I'm thinking a big raft, guys, where we can just have most everything on our raft and just kind of move along. Don't forget my water barrel. I totally forgot it, Kelly. <laughs> You're right. I forgot it. We can go back for it. That's fine. Let's turn to the right. All right, let's hit that dead center again. Very cool. This is great. This is a great game. This might be my new obsession, guys. Like somebody said earlier, Pirate's Life and uh, Escape the Pacific. Could you guys, what do you guys think about that? A Pirate's Life and Escape the, Escape the Pacific. That could be a great series, uh, season. <clears throat> great sailing mechanics. I love it. Coming in hot. And then we're going to look back at the island we were on with our map to see how it works. I'm actually really curious. No, it didn't search. I read it on the Steam page. Ah, cool. Thank you, Mr. Khan. The full version will be slightly more expensive to reflect the added content and features during early access, they say. Oh, okay. So if you guys are interested, get it in early access. And it makes sense. I know uh, I've read a few posts and uh, people were like, a lot of players were like throwing, were really inspired by the game and were throwing all kinds of ideas out and the devs were responding and uh, a number of them were saying, oh yeah, you know, that's in the works. It's just not in the game yet. So pretty cool. Including console commands. I did read that it's not in the game yet, but they do, because I was thinking like screenshots and, you know, a cinematic cinematic stuff for like a let's play <clears throat> in the future like a recorded but uh i know that's coming so i'm pretty excited about that as well looks like they list a multiplayer tag have you checked out multiplayer nope not yet um what i have done is literally uh pretty much this is as far as I've gotten in the game. I played very briefly yesterday and I got to the next island where that wreck was. This is pretty much the same map I had had. I didn't regen it, a new one. I believe maps are random. You get like a seed. <clears throat> yeah, we're gonna be uh, checking all this out. What a great game. I'm hooked. You guys want to know my impressions? I am hooked. I have that $15, buddy. I, I've been like eyeballing it and eyeballing it for, for a little while now. And I thought, no, I want to share this with everybody in the community. We're going to take a look at it together. I did say at one point, what a, I think last week, that's what we were going to do. We were going to start looking at games together. So far, this one is a this one is a big hit to me. We want to stop sailing. We want to look at this. We want to drop that. We want to pick this up and put it on the beach. Now, if we look back here, we hold our map up and we aim it. Oh, and it highlights it. You can't see the map here, but it does highlight because it's dark. But that shows that's the island we were on. And then if we go over here, that's a question mark. We haven't been there. I love this map mechanic. Okay, let's be. Okay, so I want to edit this. Um, island 2. I don't know. We'll get creative at some point. Let's go into edit and let's hit this. Can I re-edit this if I mess up?
hold it. Ah, yeah. Uh, shipwreck. Pirate. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, so then if we hit map, we come back over here and we hit the M, we can hit the aim button. We can go like this, and now we can see that. Holy smokes, this is great. Yeah, we haven't been to this one. The statue that we had. All right, well, let's look around. We got another bucket, too. Wow. I'll just play vicariously through Granddaddy Gamer. Yeah, we're going to be... Uh, I'm definitely in for a, a full playthrough of this one. I'm going to leave the rocks for now. I just want to see what we have here. We have another ship off the coast here. We have a couple crates, too. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Take these back to our raft. We might be able to do something with these if we decide to build here. Or we can break it up and take it with us, you know? We might be able to make uh, more, more modules for our ship here and add to the sides, like two here, two there, or extend it out, like depending on what we have in the way of trees here. Yeah, you, you wrote it. Like the map. The map is such a great one. Anybody who plays, you know, survival games understands that. And then the whole like upgrade from Stranded Deep, I, jeez, it just makes total sense that you could literally mark somehow where you've been. I mean, we're human. I just like, like, look at this. Dude, I'm in love. Great game. Okay, anyways, let's keep moving. Before I get anything coming out, though, you guys understand, we have to play for a while so we know what we're doing. Okay. We have another little chest here. What do you got in here? Another song piece. Interesting. Uh, let's move you up here. Oh, we got another water barrel. There's another paddle. I definitely want this. I'm going to take this back to camp. This is a much bigger island. So if we're going to do a playthrough, I guess we're going to start over. Because I want pirates. I want the whole danger mechanic. I want all of it. All right, what is this? Oh, another carving stone? Okay, we're good here. We got some dead wood, uh, coconuts that have fallen on the ground. Got another carving stone. You know what we need to make? We need to make a torch. Coconut fiber and a stick. I can do that. Uh, I think we definitely need a torch. I bet you you have to make it off the fire, huh? You have to light it off the fire. Ooh, I bet you that's a thing. We have this. Let's go here. Let me catch up with chat. <clears throat> I wonder how upset the beam team is right now. Maybe this will create some type of new survival war. You know what? Canada man we would as the players would totally profit from that because i do believe the beam team needs to step it up and uh escape the pacific has definitely put the heat on just my opinion oh a fire stick okay hey there we go 
Um, yeah. Can I split these? No. Oh, you got a oil. Oh. I'm waiting for a conspiracy. I see it. I need oil. Okay, well, that's a thing. Okay, well, we'll wait on that until we can... What do we need for oil? Um, recipes. Coconut. Should be popping up, conspiracy. There it is. Conspiracy Media with the $10 donation. Thank you, sir, so much. That's very, very kind of you. Let's go ahead and crack one of these up. I could always use. Let's go ahead and drink it. Now, in order to make this coconut oil, wait a minute. What do I got to do? Palm oil, coconut pot, water, coconut flesh. Like any kind of water? How do you do this? Let's, let's find out. Oh, you just put it all... All in there. Let's let's try this. Uh, we want to throw that in there. I'll throw these over here. Go ahead and grab that, and let's. Oh, it's in order, right? No. Now we need water and a cooking pot. What if I could add this? And then you gotta cook it, okay. Oh, you actually have to put it on the fire. Oh, that's a new one, okay, that makes sense. Let's uh let's do something about that. Or I'm just curious about everything. VR support. <laughs> For real. Thank you, man. That is so generous. All right. Two, three. There's our four fire sticks. And then um let's go four two three. I think we gotta do the whole stick thing again. Or is that not needed? Okay, that's good. I'm going to try it out first. So, let's go to cooking. Well, I had cooking. Uh, recipes. I think that'll be okay. Get water. Oh, I don't have any more water in there. Ooh, this one wasn't full like the other one. That's a thing. All right, well, rip my dream. All right, well, let's just keep exploring then. 0.3 of 1.0, yeah. For some reason, I just assumed strategies that it was full like the other one. The other one was full that we left that Kelly told me to bring. <laughs> yeah, that happened. All right, we're going to start a whole new game anyways, because this is a, like, 
uh, chill version. We want a little bit more danger, really feel the full capabilities. Maybe not go balls out to where, you know, it's like pro mode, give ourselves a little time, but uh, we want pirates in the game. I want to take that. And uh, I want to take that. Got this. Okay. So that's that. I just can't see in the middle. My curiosity is if I have salt water, can I like put this on the fire? No. All right, well, that's that. Okay, let's save the game here. And uh, let's go to the start menu and let's take a look at everything. So if you come, there is multiplayer here. Sailing school would be, let's see. Here is the logs. Tool repair mechanic. New attach, detach mechanic for doors and windows. Banana leaf, cold smoker. Coconut leaves. Torch wall holders. Lantern wall holders. Campfires can be extinguished by water. And by destroying the small ones. So you can keep up on all of that. Everything. Let's see. Trim the grass. Collect old sickle. Cultivate the ground. Fruit shovel. Carrot plants. Fruit plants. Corn. Composters. Soiling mechanic. Half doors. Railings. Wow. This is in depth. Holy smokes, look at what they've done, guys. So there you go. Now, if we go here and we wanted to do a new game, here it is. This is the world. Custom. You can randomize it. Beginner starts with the starts the game in easy mode. All of the game mechanics and weather elements are using settings allowing the game to be enjoyable. Also for a beginner, experienced. Starts the game in medium difficulty mode. Some of the game mechanics and weather elements are still using settings from the easy mode. Some of them are already set to hard mode to offer a balanced gameplay experience. Survivor starts the game in hard difficulty mode. All the game mechanics and weather elements are set to challenge the player to the limit to prove he is a real survivor and then custom, which we can't do yet. Starts the game in custom difficulty. The player is able to modify all the game's mechanics and weather elements parameters to create a difficulty setting suiting his or her personal game style. I love the custom setting. Love that. That is one setting that like Green Hell has and the Long Dark has. That is just really, really nice. Uh, story mode starts the game in story mode with environment set to default parameters. Challenges the player can try to beat some predefined challenge. So uh, this is very green hellish right here. Love it. Sail against strong wind, time trials, pearl hunting, etc. Sandbox, which is what we've been kind of playing in, allows you to modify the game parameters and start. And then there you. Because the other two aren't available yet, and neither is custom, but these are coming to the game. Let's see. Uh, next, here we go. Day forward, what is this? Day forward value indicates how fast the in-game calendar date is progressing. The value of one means during one in-game day night cycle, the internal calendar progressed one day. The value three means during one in-game day cycle, the internal calendar progresses three days. The bigger the day forward value, the less in-game day night cycles are needed to experience the whole one year environmental cycle. Time flow. Time flow indicates how much real time it takes to complete one day night cycle in the game. Two small values, one hour or less, makes the time run faster in the game, but also causes some fixed time events. For example, campfire burning time to burn very fast, making them hard to manage. And you can go up to one whole day. Whoa. 
Latitude settings, temperature, set it to normal, right? Season, wind, rain. So you guys can get an idea. Here's the pirate ship setting. You hit that and you have pirates in the game. Um, that's pearl hunting, pearl hunting, man. There's all kinds of things. And there's a lot of stuff in the game that is just not here yet. So that's basically all the stuff and the things that are coming. Custom game maps. And yeah, I mean, customize your experience. I'm like all in it for that. Whoa. What just happened to everything? It all disappeared. That's awkward. Exit, yes. Uh, single player load. Ah, here we go. Two six. This one. Multiplayer is going to be off the charts fun, yeah. It's going to be great. Ah, okay, okay. I must have went into a different mode. And, yo, know, look at this. There is an oil lantern here and a little hut. There's no oil in it, though. Dude, there's my lantern. Game's over. I got it. Pretty cool. So, yeah, that is basically it. So um, I'm thinking we need to do a full regular playthrough of the game uh, with pirates enabled and all of that. But I think we're going to get that going next Sunday. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to add pirates to it. We're going to make it a little bit more challenging. We're going to have a lot of fun. Uh, but anyways, guys, I think this is a perfect place to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Look forward to seeing more Escape the Pacific every Sunday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. I'll see you guys next time.